What's going on guys, my name is Sully and today I'm bringing you a 100% full game walkthrough for the station and I'm making this video on behalf of Mecha. This game has 11 achievements worth a thousand gamer score and it's a 20 minute completion. It's a first person exploration puzzle game. It's very simple when you know what to do and this guide should not be more than 18 or 20 minutes. Uh, there's a collectible achievement for finding audio logs. I'll point those all out as we progress through the game. Everything else is pretty much uh, progression related. Um, and what I also want to mention is that there are some puzzles I'm going to be solving, but I'm not going to show you how I figured out the solutions to those puzzles. I'm just going to go ahead and solve them. I've explored the game fully and figured out the, these solutions, and I'm not going to retrace all those steps. I'm just going to go right through the game in the shortest path possible to complete all the achievements. Um, once you start a new game, there is about a three or four minute um, loading and then, uh, you know, introduction cinematic with some dialogue that you can't skip. So I've skipped all of that, and this video now will start uh, when you first have control of your character at this point. So as soon as you move forward, you'll unlock the first achievement uh, into Welcome the unknown the for landing in the Espial. And the settings for this game are problematic. I've already adjusted my gameplay settings to invert my look, which in inverts the y-axis. It doesn't remember it when you start a new game, so I have to go in and toggle it again. Um, so you may need to do that. And uh, I would also suggest turning off the head bob, which is just kind of, in my opinion, an annoying feature. With that done, I'll go ahead and back out of the menus and we'll get to the guide. You want to move forward through this door, and um, the game is going to give you some control tutorials as you progress. I will explain them all really quickly right now. As the game says, you can press RB to pick up objects. You see a little white dot cursor in the middle of your screen. When you move that over something like this canister and it changes, that means you can press your RB to pick it up. I could now press LB in addition to RB to kind of examine it and move it around. That's really not necessary. If I let go of RB, it will drop it. So I'm going to pick this canister up and put it in this power cell receptacle on the left-hand side. Scan. That will now open this door in front of me and allow me access to the, the main uh, station, so to speak. Once we get into this area, um, what I'll mention quickly is you can hold your right trigger to run. So you might want to do that to move more quickly. As soon as you move up these steps, if you look on the left, you'll see a glowing blue orb. That is the first of, I think there's 24 audio logs. We need to find all of them uh, for the associated achievement. You uh, approach them, and then when your cursor changes, you can press LB to activate them, and then they, the little orb disappears. Uh, and then, Each of course, the once you activate an audio log, you get this I little um, brief audio clip from some of the characters in the game ethics. giving you backstory. If you There's no way to cancel or skip moment, it, so you just gotta you kind of listen to it as I work through the game. I'll just talk over them. Chemistry. Physics, you now want to come to the back right corner of this room. You'll see a panel you can interact with, so put your cursor on the blue handle and hold RB and push left on the right stick to swing it open. That'll give you access to this power override and put your cursor on the little node and then move it over to the right and up. That will then allow, uh, allow you to progress through this next door. So head through this door, take your first right, go up the steps. Here's another tutorial tip. The Y button opens up your sort of augmented reality menu with your map and inventory. We don't really need that, so just close it. You reach the top of the steps, go around this little tree display for another audio log. Backtrack back down the steps and then around to the right, you'll see a, a third audio log on this little bar in front of you, so interact with that. And then we're going to turn right and head over to these lockers. Um, we're going to open this locker and this locker by putting in a combination, sort of a puzzle situation. I obviously already know the solution to these two puzzles. Um, Don't you? I'm kind of waiting for this audio log to stop talking, so I'm not talking over it while I explain this. So here's what we'll do. Come to this first locker on the left, press RB on the panel, and you'll see that you can interact with any of these nodes. And what you want to do is just click on the nodes in the order that I do, and it'll trace out a pattern. So upper left, then over, down, up to the corner, down, diagonal to the left, and then over. And that will unlock an achievement for opening Aiden's locker, the Suspect Aiden achievement. Turn right and come over to the other locker. We'll put in another sequence here, like this. And there we go. That will unlock the Suspect Mila achievement for opening Mila's locker. You want to actually open her locker, though. Right bumper and then swing. And grab this item on the bottom, the Science Wing part of a key. We need two pieces of this key. So once you have that, you can now head down this hallway. There'll be a little shaky cinematic. The game tells you you can press RT to run. 
As you curve around this corner, you can go through the Welcome door to Aiden. Aiden's room. You'll be turn, told you can press LT to crouch, which really isn't necessary. And then in the back of this room, you'll see um, audio log number four. So go ahead and interact with that and head space. out. Once you get it's out of cold. this room into the main hallway, turn Only. left and head into the maintenance room. The lights will turn on, and the first thing you want to do is turn time left. Think about and what on a bench, like a workbench, you'll see some sort of and a tool. Hold RB on that to pick it up, and then carry it over to the receptacle, the blue receptacle on the wall over here. And as you Return get near it, it'll automatically go into place. Reset. And there are four of those tools. That was the first one. The second one is directly below. The third one is on a glowing blue table in the middle of the room. And the fourth one, once I put this one into place, is going to be over by this purple kiosk kind of area. There's another desk here. Pick up the fourth tool and run back with it to the receptacle. And once we put it in there, it's going to unlock that little receptacle above with an ID bracelet. So if I pick up that ID bracelet, it unlocks the achievement for finding Aiden's ID bracelet. What I want to then do is immediately go up these stairs right nearby into a room on the left. Turn left, and this should be audio log number five. So I'll interact with that, and then I'll so head back do you downstairs. Think you can build it? So from here, well, head back sure to this panel. Something like this on board. It's blue There's panel with the, the white buttons, the deck, and then you want to interact right with this yeah, button, possible, upper left quadrant, but, uh, upper right button. Given the risk, when you do that, you'll see a claw come out and grab Not a box a out I'm of the sure wall, and it's going to drop it, and it'll break, revealing some different little nodes, as I'll refer to them. And we need to pick one of them up, but we can't pick it up without this magnet tool. So come over and pick up this tool, bring it back to these spilled nodes on the ground, and kind of go over them until at least one is picked up. Then you want to run back to where you got this tool, and to the right you'll see like a maintenance robot. As you approach it, one of those nodes will automatically go into place on its chest. So there we go. You can now put this back. And... One more step to repairing the maintenance robot. Come across to the panel near the door we came in through. Open it up. Do a power override on this panel. And then go back to the panel of buttons. And we want to interact with this button on the panel. The quadrant just right of center on the bottom, the upper left button. Interact with that. The claw will grab another box out of the wall. It will bring it out and we'll have to manually open this box. So interact with the lid and press up, and then you'll see some purple nodes in here. Go ahead and grab one. Carry it over to that maintenance robot, and as you get close, it'll automatically be put into place on its chest. And that will unlock an achievement, Master Mechanic Maintenance for Repairing the Maintenance Robot. We are now done in the maintenance room, so what you want to do is head through the door we came in, back out into the main hallway, turn left, follow that hallway along, and on the left-hand side you will see a door that leads to a dining room. Go ahead, enter this room, Life support system take this prepared. node, I'm sorry, this audio log off of the table. That should be audio log the number six. Get audio log number seven on a smaller table on the back audio. of this room. Look, it's none of and my then business. head out of this room, you and then look to the left, between you and, me. and we'll see a door to the science wing and, and a door to her. Captain Mila. Enter her room. Her. You're absolutely Circle right around in. into her it bed area business. and pick up audio log number eight. And There's then no up some steps. Immediately the to the right, you'll see a little table. Here is Mila's ID bracelet. When you pick that up, that will unlock the access father. granted Mila achievement for finding Mila's ID bracelet. We want to head back out of her room into the hallway outside and head left yeah. through this door. Here we have audio log number nine, just on the floor, directly in front of you. If I Go through this right door into the medical room. Something. Directly back, tell for sure, there's audio did, log number ten. And Turn around and exit we this room, and go into the, should be the uh, bridge orders. door straight across. Now Pick up audio log us. number eleven. And now you'll see an emergency lockdown action, panel in front of you. Slide the two sliders. We're initiating lockdown top one to the right, bottom one to the left. Once Gentlemen, you do that, head down the Back nearby steps and circle and around. Go through the door in front of you, out into an open hallway. Turn move. right. Explosion Follow this along until you see a conference room door on the left. In this conference room, go ahead and pick up uh, which should be audio log number 12. 
And then at the front of this table, curiosity you need to pick up this other item right here. It's like a little wedge so below this Axiom hologram. The cat, so that will now give you access to a room along with the, uh, the other item that we picked up from Mila's locker earlier on. So exit out of that room to the left, follow the little barrier around, and pick up audio log number 13 on the table at the front. Once you have that, go ahead and head back to the hallway, and immediately on the left there will be a door into the science wing. There are two audio logs in this science wing, one immediately in a little room on your right, and then turn around and go to the other side of this room. So those were audio logs numbers 14 and 15. Once you have those, go ahead and exit the science wing. And turn left and take this hallway all the way to the other that end man, if clever, to, uh, to there's a door to a giant research. hangar and we need to activate man, the airlock to sort of turn curious. on the gravity in there. Might so all we need to do is move these two sliders, the top one to the right, the bottom one to the left. And as soon as we go in this room you'll see audio log number 16 directly in front of you. Pick that up, turn left and go into a little room. And there will be a yellow canister. You need to pick this up and carry it to another room. So hold down your RB on this canister to pick it up and carry it. I dropped it. And then once you have it, head out into this hangar and into the doorway on the opposite side of the room. And that's going to lead us into sort of the engine room. And we need to do a few things in here. We want to just drop this canister right on the ground. And now we have two yellow canisters. The one we brought and another one just to the left. You'll see six canisters in a big device. Two of them are blank. So pull the blank canisters out and just throw those aside. Now pick up either yellow canister and place it in the receptacle to the right of the canister device. It is called the, re, uh, the fuel cell calibrator. Once you put that in place and you interact with the panel, you'll see there are uh, 10 buttons. One th I will uh, refer to these as 1 through 5 across the top and 6 through 10 across the bottom. So what you want to do is interact with buttons 8, 4, and 7 and press commit. Then press B, pick up this canister and put it in the far left receptacle. Pick up the second yellow canister and bring it back to be calibrated. Again, interact with the panel, and this time use buttons 9, 1, 1, and commit. Now back up with B, pick up that canister and place it in the other empty receptacle. You will see three sliders become active here. You want to slide all three of them across. Top, middle, and bottom. Once you do that, this will activate the engines, and it will, after a brief cutscene, unlock the achievement Master Mechanic Engineering for repairing the engine. So if you go ahead and turn around, you'll see an audio log in front of you, but we're kind of stuck here while this is happening. That achievement should unlock. Now that I have control, I will come over and pick up this audio log. This should be audio log number 17. Head up some the steps and around and up some more steps. Samples, but two were damp and through the big drinking? door. Across the hallway, you'll see a door into Silas's room. Welcome, Silas. As soon as you enter the room, you'll see well, audio log number 18. When I was Head down young, the stairs to the lower area, and here is the Even lock to funeral, Silas's locker. So interact with that panel, start I at the bottom center, like at and funeral. follow this pattern One, I input. We haven't yet found the body. Once you do that, that will unlock Silas's little closet. Come in here and pick up audio log number 19. And immediately to the left, you will Victims see his bracelet. When you pick up his bracelet, you'll unlock two achievements for finding Silas's ID bracelet like and for completing cowards. all puzzles. We hide so we are now done in here, so reflection. head out of the room, up the steps, and out to the hallway. And then once you want to do here is um, head to the left, and immediately into the door on the left, and then up some steps to get audio log number 20. Head back down the steps Mila, and out to the hallway. Get out of my way. I just and then turn to left. You made your choice, Silas. Once you get Man to the end to of this hallway, turn left, and on the right will be the door to the bridge. Go ahead through that door. Take these steps up, circle around, and head back up and out into another main hallway. Once you get here, head left. Follow this hallway around a bunch of boxes of junk. You'll eventually see a white-walled room on the right. Go ahead and enter that room. Immediately on the right will be audio log number 21. 
Once you have that, Observing their head down some steps nature, in this room and through a door into kind of a dark room. By a Look to the right intensity. and make your way around but to some destruction to find audio log satisfied. number 22. Turn around, Mila, head through the double doors on the, the right and enough. out into a hallway. Turn left. And a little bit ways down, if you look on the right, you'll see like a broken door that you can go through. Once you go through this door and reach the top of the steps, it will advance the objective and you'll see some purple, uh, purple spilled liquid on the ground. You want to follow that through a door, around to the right, up some steps, and follow this purple splatters out into another hallway. Keep following it around to the left, and then it'll dip into a room on the right where you'll see audio log number 23. Once you have that, Mila, go back out, continue I around to the right, and follow these purple splatters. And we are at the end of the game now. I you just no want to continue straight along here. And ahead you will see some I escape capsules. What and then you want to approach this middle together. escape capsule or escape pod. And after a, a few seconds, the final audio log, number 24, here. will appear right there in I this escape capsule. Say. Interact with that. That will unlock this the achievement for the listening to all audio logs, and that will trigger the game's final cutscene. At this point in time, this scene will last about you know, 20 or 30 seconds. Um, after this scene ends, the final achievement for completing the game will unlock, and the game's end credits will begin. And at that point in time, you'll have all 11 achievements for 1,000 gamer score and another completed game on your profile. So congratulations for that. And I'm going to wrap things up here. I want to thank Maka for keeping me involved. And I look forward to seeing you in another video. Um, and remember, this is probably the easiest completion of the year. It shouldn't take uh, much more than maybe 15 or 20 minutes. And with that said, goodbye.